Hello beautiful people, Zach Dowdy here and today is a gloomy San Diego day. Here in Ocean Beach specifically, we're at Shaka Skate Park. I want to talk about three different tips for progressing or getting better at skating. Hopefully this video will help beginners or if you're already an expert at transition, maybe it'll be pretty entertaining for you. But these three little tips will hopefully be applicable to your progression and your skateboarding. Super hyped to warm up here at Shaka's Park. Let's jump into it. Now, not necessarily the first tip, but something I have been doing lately is like warming up. And soon as I'm warmed up enough, before I get over warmed up, basically, I try to do some tricks that are harder or normally out of my comfort zone that I don't do too often, like a low C stall, for example. I don't do that too often. So just trying tricks right away before you get tighter, I think really helps. At least that is something I've been noticing I've been doing a lot lately, but let's dive into the first tip. Now the first tip I have for anybody that is trying to progress at transition skating is getting really comfortable with rolling in and out of the transition. And what I mean by that is basically going from the bottom of the transition, rolling up and landing on the deck, or going from the deck, going down the transition and rolling in. I made a whole video about rolling in and rolling out. I'll link it up above, but basically, these things are gonna get you really comfortable. The transition are gonna allow you to progress faster because you're just gonna be able to ride up and down. The first thing I would say for this trick, if you're a beginner and you really don't know how to pop up onto the deck is just going straight at it, getting a lot of speed and basically going straight at it. The very common mistake people do is they kind of roll up their windows and they fly back onto their back or something really tragic like that. The thing that I'll say is it's kind of like an ollie. Imagine you're airing up where you're doing an invisible ollie, you're not snapping your tail. But once you get to the lip, you have to lean forward. You have to like move that front foot over your board and shift your body weight over the board and kind of flatten the board out. So basically your board's like this. You want to shift your body up and get it over your board and flatten it out and land on the deck. Now over time, once you get comfortable popping up onto the deck, going at an angle is really gonna be a way to get speed for tricks. So going more at an angle as you get up on the deck and then rolling in, going more at an angle, going straight in, just getting comfortable with doing it in different ways, maybe nulling in or just taking different approaches about rolling in and out of the transition is gonna allow you to get more comfortable and it's gonna help with tricks later on. When it comes to rolling in and out of transition, if you've never done before, definitely start on something small. That is gonna help so you're not too intimidated by it and gain your confidence by getting to bigger and bigger transition. And that could be something, maybe that's your barrier when you're warming up, like getting to bigger, bigger transition rolling out. When I was young, I spent a lot of time airing out of bowls and just getting comfortable with that pumping motion. That's essentially what it's gonna really teach you. It's definitely gonna help if you have a skate park like this one where there's so many different sizes of transition. Like there's small, there's big, there's steep, there's mellow. There's so many different types of transition. So finding an environment that allows you that kind of space to learn is definitely gonna make you progress a lot faster. Now the second tip I have for general transition progression is kind of a hack. I don't know if I've given this one away before, but this is like something that's really helped me progress in transition. It allowed me to learn so many tricks like backseat airs, lean to tails, like almost any trick with a grab. And what that is, is doing nose grab kick turns, front side and backside. And it sounds really easy and fundamental, but if you get into a habit, every time you skate the skate park or anytime you skate a bowl, a ramp or anything, is grab that nose when you're kick turning front side and back side and then eventually you'll get higher and then you can do front side grinds while you're grabbing the nose i found actually with things that are steeper now it's easier to grab the nose and grind versus just grinding without grabbing the nose because grabbing the nose lets me control the board and the same thing with backside kick turn nose grabs as you get higher i made a whole video on backside airs i'll leave a link up above that video will really teach you like all the different tips on backside airs i think it was like a really detailed one but basically Grabbing the nose on transition, backside, front side, like popping out of the transition, going back in. These two things alone are gonna teach you so many different tricks.
also I think this trick is a good example. I've been trying to learn switch blunts or fakey nose blunts, whatever you want to call it, basically switch blunt back to regular. Not very good of it. And I was trying it on like the mid area. It's a little bit bigger. I wasn't comfortable with getting into it. I kept like slipping out and it was just scaring me. So I went down to the smaller area and then I was able to get on the lip. And then eventually just now I was able to pop a few in, but I wouldn't be able to do that unless I was comfortable with like riding up on top of the deck. So like all those different steps did help me. The next step that I wanted to get into is set slides. I think set slides will get you really comfortable with doing different lip tricks. Before we move on to set slides, I want to try a few on this section that I was scared to do it on before and see if I can get a few or even one. I'll be happy with that. There are a lot of different ways to do set slides. You can do backside, front side, fakie to fakie, fakie back to regular. But basically what a set slide is, is you're rolling up the coping and you grab the lip of the coping and shift all your way onto your hand and use that to sort of shift and turn back into the transition. You can do it front side, back side. A lot of times this is a really cool way to sort of like take all your speed away and get used to the lip of the top of the transition. So you basically just grab the transition and you kind of swing, you go almost like pendulum yourself. You basically bend down low as you can, shifting your hips towards the coping and then grabbing the coping depending if you're doing front side or back side. I like to do it front side to really get the test of the water of things, especially if it's like big, it's a really good way to get used to the transition and get used of your board, gets you more board control. It's something that like you should test out. You can do it to fakie, you can do it to regular, there's a lot of different ways, but basically the idea is you shift all the way onto your hand and you're pivoting and you're using your hand to sort of stall and stop you from like moving essentially. It's sort of like, it's sort of like uh, training wheels in a way. And you can kind of use your hands to hold the coping with both hands or one hand. There really is no rules to this and sort of swing yourself back into the transition. There's a lot of different ways to do set slides. Like we can make a whole video about it, but essentially that is something that is going to allow you to progress and learn tricks really fast because you're going to get more comfortable with the lip and you're going to get more board control over time, especially if you practice this every time you go and skate transition. All right, y'all, that is going to be time for today's how to skate transition tips. I have a whole playlist on my channel if you haven't seen any of those other videos. I go into more specific tricks at times. Sometimes I just do a couple of different tips like today's video. Let me know down below what specific tricks you want me to do because sometimes I feel like maybe redoing some of the tricks I've done before. So many different ways to do tricks or different ways to execute them, different ways to explain how to do them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little video on transition skateboarding here at Shock and Skate Park. Make sure you smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Appreciate all you beautiful subscribers. And we'll see you in the next one. Mash.